In this recipe, I will show you how to make a quick, easy, homemade teriyaki sauce. This pantry product teriyaki sauce is easy to make with readily available pantry items you have at home, and it tastes great. This teriyaki sauce recipe can be used as a marinade, a glaze, it can be used for a dipping sauce. This teriyaki sauce recipe pretty much goes with anything and everything. It goes with chicken, beef, pork, salmon. You can put it on veggies. It goes with wings. You name it. This teriyaki sauce can do it. Get ready. Buckle up. Here we go. So let's begin. We're going to start off with our garlic. Go ahead and smash those bad boys. We're going to have to peel them. So give them a nice smashing so that their skin comes off a little bit easier. For this pantry style teriyaki sauce recipe, we're going to use four cloves of garlic. After you've peeled all these bad boys, it's time to give them a nice dicing, so go ahead and start chopping them up. So the garlic's going into the sauce, it'll stay in the teriyaki sauce, so we want it to be bite-sized pieces, so make sure that you dice it up really finely. Now that it's nice and diced, you want to go ahead and take the flat edge of the knife and smash those bad boys into the board having them release all of their wonderful flavors. It's a great idea to do this. Just smash it on in, it makes a nice little paste, it brings out the wonderful flavors, and it gets rid of that harshness of the garlic paste. Okay, so now all the hard part is over for this pantry style teriyaki sauce. Everything else is fairly simple. You're just gonna grab that saucepan and start throwing it in. So we're gonna start off here with half of a cup of brown sugar. You're going to want your burner to start off with to be roughly about medium to medium high. Now it's time to throw in one cup of low sodium soy sauce. So grab that soy sauce and start throwing it on in. Next from the pantry we're going to grab two tablespoons of rice vinegar. Go ahead and give it a little bit of a splash. Now time to hit the spice rack. Grab a little bit of ground ginger. We're going to throw half of a teaspoon in. Now it's time to grab that garlic that we chopped, diced, and smashed into the board to release the wonderful flavors. Bring those bad boys into the pool. It's time for them to play. So again, we're still over medium high heat here. Just mix all of those guys up. Let them incorporate really nicely. Now it's time to add a little bit of sesame oil. We're going to add two teaspoons. This will bring a little bit of flavor. You don't want to add too much sesame oil. It will become too overbearing, so two teaspoons is just about right. Now it's time to get our thickening agent ready while we wait for this mixture to start to boil. Go ahead and grab three tablespoons of cornstarch and four tablespoons of water. Go ahead and combine the two and start mixing it together so that it's ready to go. Once it's well incorporated, you can go ahead and put that cornstarch slurry to the side. We're going to throw that in a little bit later once this uh, sauce starts to boil a little bit. Okay, so now our sauce is starting to come to a boil. We're going to let that boil for roughly about a minute, and then we're going to go ahead and throw our cornstarch slurry in, our thickening agent. Okay, so just make sure that you stir up that cornstarch, mix it in really well. Once it comes to a boil like this, you don't need to boil it for long. Just, just really quickly let it boil, bam, then turn off the heat. Just make sure that you stir it, keep stirring it together. Look how thick that is. That is perfect consistency right there. That's what you're looking for. So just stir it up, make sure it's well combined. Now for the last item to go ahead and throw into this pantry style teriyaki sauce, some sesame seeds. You don't have to do this if you don't want, but this does add a little bit of extra flavor to it, a little crunch, just something extra special for the sauce. So go ahead and get some sesame seeds. Um, I like to go ahead and toast them. It brings out a nice little flavor to the sesame seeds. So go ahead, throw them into a pan. 
Uh, you don't need any sort of olive oil or anything like that. You could just put it directly onto the pan, put it over medium heat, and just start toasting them. Okay, so you're not going to want to walk away from this whenever you're toasting these sesame seeds. This will happen fairly quickly. So you've got it over medium heat. Once they start getting a little bit of a nice brownish color like this right here, you can take them off the heat. The pan's still hot, so you're going to still want to start moving them around, shaking them. You don't want them to burn. You just want to get that nice brown color to it. That'll bring out a wonderful nutty type flavor to the sesame seeds. and Give them a little bit of a crisp. Check it out. There they are. And then once they've been toasted, you could just throw them right back into your wonderful uh, teriyaki sauce. You don't have to do it over heat. You just put them on in after it's already been completed, stir them on in. There you go. Voila. Now this is such an easy pantry style teriyaki sauce. Just readily available items in your kitchen that you can use to make this. And it's so delicious and it goes on pretty much anything. It'll go on steaks, it'll go on pork, go on fish. It uh, goes on salmon, goes on broccoli, just any sort of vegetables, you name it, this will go on it. It's easy to make and it tastes out of this world delicious. Hey, thanks for watching you all, really appreciate it. Leave your comments below, I'd love to hear what you have to say. Hey, and if sauces and gravies are your thing and you want to kick your dishes up a notch a little bit, whether they be savory or sweet, please do subscribe and you know what, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.